Well, good morning, E-Free Church. It's Tuesday, August 4th. Thank you for joining us for this morning check-in. Now, let me remind you right up front, we would love to have you every day that you watch these check-ins to share it on your Facebook page as well. Now, this week, all the way through Monday of next week, I want to give you five steps based on John chapter 4 to meet someone right where they're at. We say that our church is all about meeting people right where they're at. And I think one of the greatest examples of that is in John chapter 4. It's the story of Jesus with what we call the woman at the well. Now, in John chapter 4 and verse number 2, the Bible says that Jesus left Judea and went away again into Galilee. But on the way, it says he had to pass through Samaria. Now, I want you to notice it said he had to pass through Samaria. Why? Because God had set up for Jesus what I like to call a divine appointment. So here's principle number one to meet people right where they're at. You need to look for divine appointments. Now, what's a divine appointment? It's when God gets you at the right place at the right time to meet the right person to have the right conversation. So there's four rights involved. Let me say it again. When God gets you at the right place at the right time to meet the right person to have the right conversation. That's what God was doing with Jesus. He was getting him at the right place at the right time to meet this woman at the well to have the right conversation. And I believe that God does that in our life all the time. I really do. In fact, I've discovered that one of the best ways you know when a divine appointment is happening is this. God will change your plans. He will change your schedule. There will be an interruption. There will be a delay. Usually that's God orchestrating your life to get you at the right place at the right time to meet the right person, to have the right conversation. Now, the reason we miss them is because we don't like it when our schedules get delayed. We don't like it when we're interrupted and we get frustrated. So today and this week, when a delay comes into your life, don't get frustrated. Do this. Say, God, what divine appointment are you setting up for me to get me at the right place, at the right time, to meet the right person, to have the right conversation? Would you pray with me? So, Father, today, please... Set up for us divine appointments. We give you permission as if you need it to change our schedules, to delay us, to bring us interruptions, if that's what it takes. May we be sensitive to those divine appointments because that's how you use us to meet other people right where they're at. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So look for those divine appointments today. Now, tomorrow we'll look at principle number two. But before I sign off, let me encourage you. Tonight, six o'clock, we start a brand new online Bible study. Lesson number one of eight as we walk verse by verse through the exciting book of Titus. So I hope you'll join us tonight, six o'clock, for our live online Bible study. Share this video on your page. We'll see you tomorrow morning for our Wednesday morning check-in right here from Efree Church.